Welcome back. They care for more than 150,000 animals each year, but the work of the Humane Society of the United States is far from over. I recently caught up with Humane Society's acting president and CEO, Kitty Block, and she explained how they're also saving animals internationally. Take a look. This, this is Bella. Um, she's, she's a beautiful little girl. She's a little, she wants her mom who's, who's uh, not here on the set right now. But um, we rescued her from a dog meat farm in South Korea where they raise dogs for, sadly, for food, for consumption. And so she was one of our many, we, as I said, we rescued about 1,300, and we find them forever homes in the United States and Canada and the, and the United Kingdom. This is amazing. Um, I, I was over in Thailand uh, last year and, and was at a, a sanctuary that was rescuing dogs as well from the same meat industry. But um, talk about your experience when you, I mean, it's, it's got to be horrifying seeing this meat industry over there. It, it really is. I mean, it's, it's, it's so hard to describe what it's like. I've, I've seen it in Vietnam, um, China, and of course, South Korea, where we work uh, a lot. And so when you go to these farms, you know about these farms even long before you get there. You, the smell hits you, the sounds of the dogs crying hit you. <laughs> She's just gonna lay down here. Um, and it's really, it, it's so hard to take. And so you just go to work. Um, first, you just, you know, you're sort of in shock and then you go to work. And so the most important thing is we know that these animals are getting out of this situation and they're going to find forever homes. And it's not just about shutting down each individual farm and working with the farmers and transitioning them out to uh, humane livelihoods, um, but it's really about stopping the practice altogether. And we also work, are working with the government to introduce legislation to phase it out and end it once and for all. Well, that was what I was going to say is one of the things about the, the elephant sanctuary as well over there is they said, yes, they're trying to rescue these elephants, but then these people that have their whole heritage has grown up raising elephants for this stuff, they need to find them other work and other, other means um, for their property to make money. So is that something you're doing with the government? Right. So it's, um, we're sensitive to the economic issues, but uh, dog meat industry, it's a dying industry. Um, we've done all the ne economic analysis. It's, it's the older generations who are eating uh, dogs. It's not the younger generations. The farmers themselves want out of the business. Their children, to be honest, are mortified, and they're really wanting their parents out of the business. And they don't, certainly don't want to inherit it. So what we do is we provide them a, uh, an alternative. So we work with them um, and provide them seed funding to transition. And one of the first farms we shut down, instead of raising dogs to be slaughtered, he's now growing blueberries on his farm. And that's something he always wanted to do. So each farmer is different, and, and their land is different so we work with them to transition out. And we can't do this for every farm. I mean, these are one of the issues. You can't rescue your way out of this, but you can provide the blueprint for the government to start working on these issues with you. This is amazing. This is inspiring. I can't thank you enough from everybody uh, who's watching this uh, for what you're doing. But real quick out there, one of the really cool things is I didn't get to take any home with us when we came back from Thailand, but how can our viewers possibly, if they want to, adopt some of these dogs out of your program? Well, of course, you can go to our, our website, humanesociety.org, and we, we provide information on where we partner, where we bring our, our dogs in from South Korea to the shelters. But if you're looking for a dog, as you know, I mean, these dogs are amazing that we have in shelters in the U.S., and they all need forever homes. Um, so you can certainly find out uh, where we work and with our placement partners, but you can also just go to your local shelter and find an amazing dog. And we have a great local Humane Society here, uh, just opened a new facility. Thank you so much for your time, Kitty. I really appreciate uh, that and everything you're doing. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much. Take care. Hey, Beth. Special thanks to the Humane Society for being here and sharing that information.